Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend. Alright, we got our hands on the Black Spear, which means we can now actually make some progress by starting the tower. Let's get started. In which case, we just need to head back to the base town. All the way up. And the Saigaru blocks the way. This shouldn't be that hard. I'm pretty sure one of them can nuke. Yeah, get out. Lizard is more or less the same thing. At this point, these guys are a joke. Ten damage. That's all I got. Really? In any case, there's the tower. We end up here. And before I do anything, I want to see if I can at least improve the stats of my characters. Which case... I will buy the HP 200. Alright, let's see what we can do here. 112, 98, 107. Yikes, not really that great. I do I, I do need two more gold. Uh, let's go ahead and run back and grab one more. See if we can run around this place and see if we can get something. I mean, these guys are a joke anyway, may as well throw something up. Any day now, game! I really mean any day now. Alright, finally a goblin. Goblins are stupid. Deleted. Alright, now I can buy another HP 200, I may as well give it to... Zero. And that'll be a wrap. 127. Alright, that's fine. So, how do you get into the tower? In which case, just step forward. Doors locked by Magic of Black. Go to Item. Go all the way down to Sphere. Hit A. You'll... Have the cursor on the black sphere. Hit A again. Look at the splash. Get out of the menu. Press up again. The seal is broken. And no pause means it just automatically goes to this. Everything freezes. Step forward. And welcome to the tower. In which case you can deal with the first five floors before you're locked and have to go to the next wall. There's not really much in any of these first floors, so we should be able to breeze through this easily, depending on the encounters. Let's get started. So we're the second floor here. Up, oh, Snake starts us off. These guys are a little bit tougher, obviously. And they give triple the gold that all the enemies in First World do. In this case, it's 120 for the snake. So it's good. Anyway, head down here. The right passage leads absolutely nowhere. There's nothing of interest either. Just head to the left. And then go up. In which case, two Onis show up. This shouldn't be that hard, and I don't think I need to use a fire spell. Ow. That's a lot of damage. But they can be one shot. So it's not that bad. What is bad, though, is having 44 HP. I'll just let Leon take care of that. Goes for 43, which is fine. And unfortunately, this one survives because I wanted to not risk getting wrecked. There it goes. 240 gold's not bad. Walk up ahead. Oh, slime. Well, this shouldn't be that bad either. Ten. Yeah, slime naturally has a little bit of defense. But they shouldn't be that hard to kill either. Forty gold, though, so they do kind of suck. Go through this door, you'll enter the same room again, but you'll end up on the third floor. In which case, you can head over here to this door, and then there's this place. 
with nothing but a small little area where you can swim in the water, but end up in this town with absolutely nothing but four characters just having fun. They even mention, yeah, no one works here. And that's really about it. Nothing really going on on this floor. There is one reason to come here, though, and it's something you'll want to get used to over the course of the game. Notice this squiggly-looking thing of water? Hit the A button here, and you'll hear that sound. This is actually a HP recovery pool. A healing pool. So you'll want to get used to these things, but note that you want to hear that sound. If you do not hear that sound when you press A, seeing one of these things, because there are fakes in this game, it's not a heal pool. If you can hear that sound, it works. That's really the only reason to come here. So, that's about that. Let's head up the stairs. And the right side does nothing, so head left, and there's the door to 4F. Same room is empty. You come here, which has a bunch of stuff. In which case, you can head to the left. Obaki and two condors. Well, they'll... I'm pretty sure Zero can kill an Obaki. I don't think the condors can do it, though. What sucks is there's two of them. And these guys hit hard. Okay, so Obaki can get wiped out pretty easily. I'll just run through this with relative ease. And... Well, I will get some serious hits in, but I should be good otherwise. I do need to help Vonda with his strength. I'll get to it when we get to the next world. And 280. Gold is the effort here. Um, ability is what I'm looking for. I want to use this heal. Just for good measure, because those condors hit pretty hard. Now, there is a heal pool on this floor, too. In which case, it's up to the north. We're gonna go south for just a moment, and enter the next temporary place. Okay, that's pretty painful. I'm just going to do this. I'm gonna run a fire spell for the first time, and attack Yobaki. Because I can't one-shot a condor. At least not yet. Yobaki's, on the other hand, I definitely can. There they go. Now I actually have the capacity I need to deal with this. Uh, except I need to heal zero again. There goes one. Heals. That worked out. There it goes. I'd rather be prepared than anything else. Inside here is the total opposite of the third floor, in which case, you do face encounters here, but more importantly, there's fixed gargoyles as everyone suffers. There's this little keynote, which are actually the four holy beasts. Um, Gen Bu we faced last episode, so obviously you have to face Sei Ryu, Byako, and Suzaku. If, uh, you understand the theme, which I do. Anyway, that's about it. There's nothing really of interest otherwise there. Oh, uh, wait a minute. There's three of them. I gotta run a fire spell. These guys hit hard, too, so... I'm just kind of hoping I can get through this with relative ease. At least one's gone. Hey, paralysis. Better that than damage, especially on Zero or Vaughn. Eh, run another one. Yeah, I'd rather just run a second one. Nuked. That works out. Let's hurry up. Get to the heal pool. And that should fully heal. Yep, it works. 
And right to facing in Obaki and Condor, I may as well just walk right into the heel pool again after this encounter. I mean, better this than being right at it and having to face the encounter before you can even touch it. And that's a wrap. Grab that. 160. Heal up again. And we need to go straight for the center here. All the way up. There's the door. And right there, you can notice your first chest in the tower. Walk up here. Get your hands on a Colt. Which, yes, is a gun. How about that? I'm going to go ahead and give it to... Uh, wait a minute. Give it to Vaughn. Now, it's actually... It requires a combination of strength and agility to use. And overall, it's actually an okay weapon. Um, just Vaughn has crappy stats right now. Which I'll, I'm hoping to fix. We'll get to that with this. And here we are at the top of the tower that we can reach up to this point. In which case, you have... This, which is locked by magic of blue. So apparently I have to learn enemy magic. Well, uh, obviously it's the blue sphere we need next. And there are these enemies, which... Four worms, wow. Uh, definitely gonna need the fire for this one. Because that's a lot of them. 59, 58, 63, 62... None of them died. But at least they're wounded enough that it won't make that much difference, so I can just run attacks here. Quite a bit of gold. How's the... Okay, the HP's fine. I'm pretty sure... Oh. Well, this one's likely the same thing because there's three of them, but gargoyles aren't that terrible. At least one's on. And there it goes. Another gargoyle in the mix. I'll just give it to you. I'm pretty sure right in the corner here, yep, there's another heal pool. In which case, you can just recover. But mainly, you want to go... Oh, there's a guy right here. Uh, well, I may as well just do the same shit as I did with the previous worm. At least one's gone. And that's a wrap. Now we got this guy. Talk to him. Look for the old man. Alright. And there's the door to the second world, which is full of water. You're on a single island, and there is a cave to the north and a town to the southeast. We need to go to the town. In which case, you can talk to people. Well then. Of course, there's this, which is, uh, the main thing. Interesting. Like, really interesting. Anyway, we have 2,760 gold, which is pretty awesome. And the item shop here contains the following. Uh, obviously this stuff, but more importantly, the 400 HP stuff, which is... Eh, it's okay. Of course, all this other stuff for status effects, but that's not really necessary. Obviously, I want to get my hands on some strong and agilities. And I'll just grab a couple of them right now. Three of them in particular. One agility, for good measure. 
Now we need to go over here. In which case, you get your hands on. Axes are okay. The battle sword is actually required for something. Plus, it's a decent weapon. So I will get one of them, and I'll explain what it is later. The SMG is just a stronger version of the Colt, in a sense. Gold shield and gold equipment, plus also electricity. Well, I'm at, let me go ahead and get bronze armor for both. Uh, also, the gold helm. Oh, my inventory's full. Oops. Let's go ahead and start using these things. One for you. Actually, what, what does that put you at? 17. Alright, that's fine for now. Let's fix, let's help Vaughn out. Where does he get to? 17, 13. And I got one agility, which I will use on zero, putting him to seven. And I will now equip the, I'll do the bronze, well, the gold helm, which puts him up to five, nine, uh, twelve. And I'll move this battle sword here. Bring the long sword down here. Actually, let's, let's fix this. Um... Just make it look better. I can't really change it any other way, so we'll at least look at it like that. And of course, you get the bronze armor, just to have a little bit of help. Everybody else is looking pretty fine. And, well, Vivi has more mana than Leon does, so let's move that over here. And that will be a wrap, I guess. Um... Just need to finish it off with one final thing. And that's, uh, I don't have any other items. Uh, HP 200s. I'll empty out my inventory. And I'll use these to put... 146 and 116. Works for me. Do I have the goal to stay at the inn one more time, or... No. I do. Alright, I'm good. So, next episode will begin at World 2. And, uh, we'll continue things from there. So, with that said, I'll close things here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.